Hi, I'm Vanessa Montgomery from Astro All Stars with a Z and we're going to talk about today's new moon in Taurus. This blog was actually commissioned by lunasparkling.com so I'm going to read it to you now. Taurus, an earth sign known for its fertility and abundance, heightens manifesting mojo as the new moon resets on Wednesday. So that's at 18 degrees Taurus, 8th of May in Australia. Focused on creating stability, now is the time to hone in on your material assets, financial security and wealth. Our values drive our choices, so it's essential to align with yours and be conscious of what guides your spending and life decisions. Whether consciously or unconsciously, your values influence every aspect of your life. Taurus emphasizes tangible, enduring assets of recognized value that appreciate over time. By investing your time and resources wisely now, you can cultivate a prosperous future. Taurus, a sign of abundance, pairs with Jupiter, the planet of expansion, and Venus, ruler of pleasure, beauty, and wealth during this new moon. Your wishes and actions at this time are poised to flourish with fecundity. I love that word. Take a moment to reflect on your current life stage, identify your aspirations, and devote time to nurturing them. So hone in on what are your goals? What are your goals for this year? What are your goals uh, going forward? What can you do this year? What can you do now? As the first of the earth signs, Taurus is attuned to sensory experience. If you can see it, hear it, touch it or taste it, smell it, it's in the realm of Taurus. Focus on fundamental needs first before exploring the ephemeral. Embrace the pleasure principle. Taurus embodies indulgence in life's simple delights and pleasures. So it's ruled by Venus. So get Venusian. Prioritize quality. Taurus's heightened senses appreciate it. Embrace slow living at its finest by relishing the fruits of your labor. Cultivate a sensory paradise, whether through taste, aroma, texture or nature that resonates with your soul. Nurture your body like the divine temple it is with healthy natural choices. Your body is a lifelong companion and caring for it is an act of self-love. Listen to it. Uh, listen to its wisdom. Honor your gut instincts and nourish your gut biome. Opt for natural, organic, fermented and slow foods to foster inner well-being. Taurus, like the tortoise in the, in the fable of the tortoise and the hare, champions the steady, steady, thorough approach. However, this lunation is infused with Uranus, the planet of surprises and innovation. Embrace change and adapt to seize new opportunities. Remember, you are a divine being, a manifestation of universal love. Carry this attitude into every room, grounding it through your actions, words, and thoughts. Ooh. All right, let's look at the mottos. So it's right mottos. A, I manifest my dreams through deliberate action and planning. I embrace and celebrate my body, taking up space in the world to attract what I desire or create what I desire. Let's put it that way. I cultivate stability and wealth through conscious actions and choices. Journal prompts. Always interesting to ask questions. Am I comfortable in my own skin? Do I prioritize my pleasure and desires? How can I reclaim ownership of my pleasure? What is my relationship with wealth? Do I hold empowering beliefs around money and investment? How can I transcend limiting beliefs about wealth to align with my positive self-image? New room, new, new room, new moon ritual prompts. As Taurus is an earth sign, craft a ritual around planting a tree that supports Australian or wherever you are, na native fauna or a plant that blooms or produces food. Infuse the flora with your intentions for this lunation. As the tree and the moon grow, visualize your intentions blossoming with a loving energy. Each month during Taurus season, 
revisit your intentions and take actions that propel you towards your dreams. So I'm Vanessa Montgomery from Astro All Stars with a Z, written for lunasparkling.com. Check out their beautiful, natural, Venusian bubbly, beautiful drinks. It's uh, brewed on the lunar cycle, which is really interesting. They use crystals and I have suggested they play beautiful music to it, which they said, yes, we've been thinking about that. So I love that. So Taurus new moon, look at where Taurus is in your chart around 18 degrees. Jupiter and Uranus is going through there. Venus is going through there. Uh, there's literally five planets in Taurus at the moment. That's a lot. So let's have a little bit more of a chat about this. So I've been thinking, you know, it's interesting watching Jojo Siwa. She's a Taurus. And I just checked her transits and she has Jupiter coming up on her Taurus sun and Uranus isn't very far behind and she's really exploding. She's taken her first step towards uh, her vision of crossing over from a child star to a an adult and I think she's just really expressing herself and something she's wanted to do for a long time and she's getting a lot of kickback about it but she's also getting a lot of views and she's got Aries rising so she's really going for it but and a Capricorn moon that is conjunct Chiron the wounded healer so she said something like, I'm glad it's me getting, uh, you know, taking the heat because I can handle it. And if I'm, get, I'm taking the heat, maybe that means someone else isn't. Oh, my gosh. It's so sweet. So I personally really love her song. It's called Karma. And I love the outfit. I think that it speaks to her upbringing uh, with dancing. She was famous. On, uh, she got famous on, what is it? Um... Oh, what was that dancing show? I never watched it. It's way beyond below my age bracket, uh, but um, I'm sure you've heard of her. So anyway, this she is her own marketing team, and she says that people are saying get rid of your marketing team, and she says I'm the marketing team, and um, it's worked because she has she was number one streamed on YouTube. She had thirty. Well, I just checked. She's got thirty four million views. Uh, in one month it's amazing so it's doing really well and there's more to come because that Uranus hasn't reached her sun yet although they're all in orb so it's on so this is a really incredible time for her to actually be launching because she is having this great Jupiter freedom faith take that leap of faith self-belief optimism um, and Uranus the liberator so the freedom and the liberation it's working in a weird roundabout way but she's I mean she's saying she can take the heat but that Chiron moon is very sensitive and it's you know emotional wounding the moon often rep represents the mother but it could be either nurturing parent it can be both in different ways as well but um, you know I'm curious about or what that relationship is with her mother. Anyway, 